Hey everybody, Marcos Villegas here being joined with Marlon Esparza who fights this weekend on the Canelo versus Triple G card. Marlon, third fight. You're, you're racking them up. I know. How, how do you like your progress so far? I do. I, I actually like it a lot. I wasn't happy with my first fight. Uh, you know, I just, I thought I could have done better, but it was a lot of being such a, I guess, good named or well-known amateur. I felt like maybe I put too much pressure on myself because people were expecting a lot and it kind of messed me up there. But besides that, my second fight was I think what my first fight been, should have been. And then my third fight, because I got so much time and I got, I got the three minute rounds. Thank God, um, I and six six three minute rounds, which is good, which for the women we've never done that. Yeah, you guys, and I always thought that was the weirdest thing to not do that for the women. Yeah, so yeah. I'm the you know me and a few other girls are advocates on that that are coming out of the out of the amateurs and, or the Olympics, and I just feel that it's better for us in that in that aspect. And because of that, I had a long camp, I had a, a, a lot to figure out, and I did. I got stronger. I worked really hard on the exact way the tactics and what to do for a three minute round versus a two minute round settle down you know get everything correct and i think that my, my momentum is going really well obviously i only plan on improving and improving and improving but i'm expecting a lot from this fight and i'm hoping to to impress and i'm you know putting on a really really good show and showing people that i'm progressing and i'm progressing but i, I feel really good about what i've done so far one thing I always remember is that you're weighing, you dressed up in the Power Ranger costume, right? What was the the, the, reason? the reason? Yeah, well, tell me about that. And obviously, I think you're a Power Ranger fan, right? <laughs> I am a Power <laughs> Ranger fan. I would have chose pink if I could with my colors. Why I, didn't you wear the pink one? Well, because my colors, I want to be the red, white, and blue still, but oh, more metallic. Okay. So everything you look from now on will be that, kind of that, that, uh, that idea. But the reason is because... I would when I was didn't want to go professional when I was younger because I would see everybody weighing in in uh, bikinis and I thought that everything was really just about the weigh in mm -hmm. and then you wouldn't even see their fight uh -huh. you know so you'd always see the weigh in yeah. but you wouldn't always see the fight mm -hmm. and I also when I started getting endorsements and started getting those things when I was an, an amateur going into the Olympics everybody was like oh we're gonna do a boxing shot here's this sports bra on this in these booty shorts and I'm like I don't box in that mm -hmm. and I just felt like it was. People were paying less attention to the fact that I was a boxer and more attention to the fact that I was a, a pre-boxer or even, you know, just a female. So because of that, I wanted to show little girls going, it's, since it was my first introduction to the pros, that we don't have to be half naked to, to, to weigh in on the scale. We don't, we don't have any rules on what we need to do. So I just wanted to show that, hey... We can wear a full bodysuit if we want to. And then I was like, but I want to make it look cool. And Sophie from Fight Label, she used to be a gymnast, so she does leotards. Mm -hmm. So I was like, find me something cool, but I want to make a statement. And it was kind of just like superhero, like, right? Like doing something different, but at the same time, it's going to be the first impression. And it was more just to get people the idea, and I'm still doing that. So uh, every outfit I have, it's the last time was a leotard, it was a skirt I took off. This time, it's a little bit cuter, uh, a little bit more different. Different. Uh, you, can, you can't you can see my stomach, but I am going to wear a skirt all the way until I get onto the scale. Is it going to be a Power Ranger, though, again? It's going to be the same color. No Power no Ranger. Power I'm, I'm going to throw the Power Ranger in there once in a while. Yeah, okay. yeah once in a while. Uh, but that, that was the point, just to kind of show that... It, it, uh, give us, uh, you know, something that, something different. yeah, something different yeah. that, uh, you know, maybe eventually girls will start doing that, having their own things uh, so we don't have to just be in a, in a bathing suit. And if they want to, hey be in a bathing suit, but if you don't, it doesn't mean you have to. Did you ever see the Power Rangers on tour, the live tour no, at Universal no, Studios? No, okay, okay. I went. I was a huge Power Rangers fan when I was a little kid. So did I. But you know what ha happened when we we're actually going to go? My dog got sick. So my dad was like, we can only, we can go there or we can have surgery on the dog. So we all had surgery on the dog. But I'll go. I, the movie, I watched it about yeah. 10 days. Yeah. <laughs> I love Power Rangers. You know, it seems that the women in, in boxing are, are in a very good place right now. You're seeing uh, Michaela got signed with Top Rank. Um, Kitty Taylor is getting a big push as well. So overall, it looks like it's doing a lot better than before. What would you attribute that to? I attribute first. I would honestly want. I want to say that um, because of the Olympics, it did shine light on women's boxing. First of all, so I know that now people can say, oh, if they're in the Olympics, that means that they have to have some sort of skill set. 
Next thing I would say is that right now, given everything that's just happening around the world, government-wise, um, you know, just everything, period, p politics, anything, that uh, the future's female. I don't know if you, everybody's kind of caught on to the fact that now, um, with the Wonder Woman movie, even main stars or main roles are played by women, um, even in cartoons and stuff like that. There's Hispanic women now. Everything's really generated to the power of women trying to pick them up. I think a lot of women are being more supportive for, to one another. It used to be a competition. I think we're all trying to join in. It's a it's it's the women's rights thing. And I think that a lot of men um, that aren't so old school are also joining in and understanding. So I think that's one thing. And then two, we can fight. We can fight and um, we know how to carry ourselves. And I think that because of all that, if we continue all that, it, the momentum will continue to grow. And if not, then just the cream of the crop's gonna gonna survive. The yeah. That's a macho man quote. Cream of the crop will rise to the top. I think, are they kicking us out here? I don't know, this yeah. is a very live interview. You know, you know what, but we're gonna stay because it's Marlon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Marlon, <laughs> would you say also too that uh, the women's MMA has helped a lot too in terms of people accepting women fighting as a whole? I think what women women's MMA did for us was Ronda Rousey and then they started to realize we can make money. Mm -hmm. Right, which that's not a bad thing. If I can make money, I'd make money too. So that was a huge, huge help for us. I would definitely say, I think that when people started to realize that, wait, uh, in a combat sport, people don't mind watching women, but then there's other things that go into, you have to be kind of cute sometimes, you know, whatever, a uh, good, um, I don't even know how to say, marketing. facade, yeah, okay, yeah, good yeah, marketing, good look, good look yeah. you know, how you carry yourself, how you speak. Mm -hmm. And I just think that if you have all those things, then then you ha you have it and it's showed through through UFC. I think they did a lot for us and in return I think we we're gonna be continue to do a lot for them because boxers have shown uh, and prevailed in the UFC world so all right Marla now we're really getting the uh, call to wrap yeah, things up it. over here all right I'm gonna get you Power Ranger watch all right the doot 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 that'll be our call time to I wrap know, up interviews. On my way yeah. in. <laughs> here with Marlon Esparza of course fighting this weekend on the Canelo versus Golovkin card I'm Marcos Viegas thanking you guys watching us over here at Fight Up TV